Good evening. House Speaker Martin Romualdez slams his counterparts in the Senate, telling them to focus on their duties instead of meddling with the People's Initiative for Charter Change. In a press conference, Romualdez stressed that the People's Initiative is the job of the people and senators and congressmen should focus on legislation. It can be recalled that all 24 senators signed a manifesto against the PI as the campaign asks the House and the Senate to vote jointly on whatever provisions of the Constitution will be amended. Romualdez then reminded all of the senators to get their act together and fix the supposed delays of the upper chamber to approve the priority legislations of President Bongbong Marcos' administration. The House Speaker says he wrote a letter to Senate President Juan Miguel Zubiri to allay fears and anxiety brewing in the upper chamber due to the developments concerning the amendment of the 1987 Constitution. Senator Amy Marcos is linking her cousin, Speaker Martin Romualdez, to the controversial People's Initiative to amend the 1987 Constitution. In a virtual press conference, Senator Marcos says it is definitely Speaker Romualdez who is behind the alleged 20 million peso allocation per congressional district pushing for the People's Initiative. Definitely, the office of ng 20 million kada distrito. Definitely, nanggaling sa kanila yung uh, very attenuated timeline na July 9 o July July 9 ba yun? Tapos na ang lahat at uh, ibibigay na ng buong buo itong economic provisions, etc. So definitely, that derived from his office with uh, very clear um, numbers uh, identifying the staff members and attorneys involved. In a separate press conference, Speaker Romualdez denied such claims, calling his cousin Marites, which is a term used to referring to individuals spreading hearsays. Romualdez dares Senator Marcos to prove her allegations to whatever court. This after a supposed People's Initiative starting collecting signatures to propose amending the 1987 Constitution and allow the Congress to jointly vote therein. However, concerns arose regarding the legitimacy of the initiative after signatories were reported to have been bribed or to support the movement. Senate Majority Leader Joel Villanueva claims he has proof that the leadership of the House of Representatives was behind the alleged People's Initiative proposing to amend the 1987 Constitution. Villanueva made a pronouncement after revealing that his office has already received thousands of complaints against the supposed People's Initiative which he tagged as a fake initiative. May mga listahan na ako, naggagawa na po ako ng listahan. Mayors at uh, even governors, no? Uh, mayroon na po mga voicemail na pinapadala, boses ng mga kongresista na tinuturo po ang liderato ng Kamara. Villanueva even claimed that the voicemails also involved the four congressmen who personally identified Speaker Martin Romualdez as the driving force behind the initiative. Even a congressman is pointing his leader. May mga voicemail po eh. Nakilala ko yung mga boses eh. Ito lahat pero hindi nyo pa po ma-verify. Pagno apat na congressman yung narinig kong boses. Romualdez earlier denied ever issuing a directive to start a people's initiative in a bid to amend the 1987 Constitution's economic provisions. Inquire.net has already reached Romualdez's camp for their side but has yet to receive a response as of the moment. The Movie and Television Review and Classification Board is extending the suspension of Sunshine Media Network International shows to 28 more days as government television censors rejected their motions for reconsideration of earlier orders. According to the board, SMNI's assertions in its MRs were unconvincing and lacking persuasiveness, adding that the company merely reiterated points already raised in the position papers submitted earlier. On December 18, 2023, the MTRCB issued a 14-day preventive suspension against, against SMNI shows Gikan Samasa Para Samasa and Laban Kasama Ang Bayan. SMNI appealed the order on January 11. The embattled media company also had its operations indefinitely suspended by the National Telecommunications Commission.
The Department of Foreign Affairs announces President Bongbong Marcos will visit Vietnam from January 29 to 30. DFA spokesperson Maria Teresita Daza says the President's state visit to the Southeast Asian country was upon the invitation of Vietnamese President Vo Van Thuong. First Lady Lisa Marcos, DFA Secretary Enrique Manalo, and members of the Philippine Economic Team will join the President on the trip. DFA says, the President, uh, Ma Pres DFA says uh, President Marcos is expected to sign a five-year rice trade agreement with Vietnam during the visit. He is also set to meet with business sectors and the Filipino community. According to DAZA, 7,000 Filipinos are currently working and living in Vietnam. And these are the stories you need to know today. I am Aniela Mercado. Following Quired.net's on Facebook, X, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Reddit. For more stories, visit Inquirer.net. Good evening.